So this book on forests and food is trying to explore the role that forests play in the food security discussions that are so important in terms of feeding the world. Um, it's an area that's been really neglected. Um, a number of people um, have focused largely on agriculture as a source of food and food security. And this book isn't trying to suggest that that emphasis on agriculture is misplaced. Agriculture is going to continue to provide a lot of nutrition and food to people around the world. But what is neglected from our understanding is the already extensive dependence that people have on forest-based foods and the amount of nutritional needs that are actually met from forests and trees in existing diets. Uh, the book captures the evidence on that and is trying to emphasize the importance of thinking across the landscape between agriculture and forests as a solution to the future food security problems that the world faces. This book comes out of a process that was coordinated by UFRO, the International Union of Forest Research Organizations, they convene a, a set of global forest expert panels uh, on behalf of the uh, Collaborative Partnership on Forests. Um, the decision to have a report focusing on forests and food came from that process. I was asked to chair that report and um, we had something like 60 authors contributing to this uh, report which went through a process of, of compilation, uh, peer review and was finally launched and released at the United Nations Forum of on Forests in New York in May 2015. Um, that's the, the genesis of the report. It builds on conversations around forests and food that are beginning to become really important. Um, the United Nations FAO has now commissioned um, a high-level panel of experts to look at the same issue uh, to report to the Committee on World Food Security in a couple of years' time. So this is now becoming quite an important agenda globally. So we are going to be attending the um, Climate Change Conference in Paris. Um, alongside the Climate Change Conference, a really important meeting is being organized called the Global Landscapes Forum. Uh, the Global Landscapes Forum is now really an important event in the Paris calendar. It, it brings together uh, all the groups that are in, interested in land management, forest management in the context of climate change. One of the messages from our report is the importance of integrated landscape approaches and integrated landscape management, trying to understand how agriculture and forests are not necessarily competing with each other, but are actually complementary, specifically in the context of food security. At the conference, um, we will be launching the book. We will be uh, using that as an opportunity to highlight how these landscape approaches can address food security and hunger issues. Um, while that's uh, associated with the climate change issue, it's also important to realize that the pressures of climate change might be exacerbating hunger and food security in the future. So I think having the opportunity to talk about these issues while the world's attention is focused around climate change is really important. It is very important for us that knowledge that's produced is available for people to read. Uh, the reason that uh, authors and editors produce books is so that they have a wide readership. Um, we're really committed, therefore, to the open knowledge, open access uh, way of publishing. Um, it's been terrific to have this opportunity to work with the open access uh, uh, groups associated with the book. The report is available as free to download, but it reaches only a very limited network. What open access publishers are able to then do is to reach a completely different set of audiences. And as an author, I want people to read my work. So I think that's the most important reason to actually be associated with this model. And I hope um, it does actually replicate itself and flourish. Uh, it's, it's a really important commitment that we have.